In today's video, we're going to check out the top 5 best PC cases in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about these PC cases, you can check out the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button, and comment the hidden word found in this video. At number 5, it's the Corsair Carbide 275R. There may be tons of PC cases with various sizes, build qualities, features and prices, so unless you really know what you're looking for, the choice may not be so simple. The best budget option I've chosen is the Corsair Carbide 275R, which is essentially a great tower like most of the products in the Carbide series, and it features tempered glass chassis with a minimalist design and an internal layout that'll make life easier for the builder. An excellent mid-tower for those with limited budgets. The Corsair Carbide 275R has an all-black build and it has a futuristic and minimalistic vibe to it. The body is made up of steel, plastic and tempered glass, and even the insides are painted with black. The case measures 455 by 225 by 460 mm and it weighs about 16 pounds. The top part of the device is covered with a magnetic metal mesh filter and directly underneath the surface there's a perforated area that has two mounting locations for 120mm or 140mm fans. The side panel glass is tinted and measures 419 by 419 mm and interestingly it's attached to the frame with rubber coated locating pins and allen head screws. On the other side you can find the plain steel panel. On the front, there's a plastic panel that's covered by a brushed aluminium coating. On top, there are two USB 3.0 headphone and microphone ports. Furthermore, there's an LED light that shows hard drive activity and a power button. Behind the plastic, you can locate a removable nylon mesh filter that covers the locations for three 120mm or 140mm fans. And there's also 10mm of space on each side of the front panel to ensure airflow. Its internal layout is very good and user-friendly, meaning that you can install your hardware without much of a hassle. Other than that, I'd like to say that when every fan is installed and the CPU and GPU are running at full speed, the Corsair Carbide 275R manages to keep a reasonable temperature inside the case. It may not be the best, but it is the best budget case you'll find on the market. At number 4, it's the NZXT H200i. The NZXT H200i is a great premium mini case that has the same performance as its bigger brother, the NZX H700i, which we'll be talking about later in our list. In fact, all of the NZXT's H series share good performances while keeping good looks and providing excellent value despite higher prices. The NZXT H200i offers excellent performance, good looking design, an included RGB and fan control, and an attractive price to wrap up the package. The overall build of this mini case is made of tempered glass and steel and it comes available in matte black, black and red, black and blue and black and white colour schemes. The NZXT H200i on top of it has two USB 2.0 ports, standard audio jacks and the power button. Going to the rear of the case you'll find a fan mount that can house 120mm fans and it supports PS2 form factor power supplies and an SFX form factor adapter for mini ITX builders who want to utilise a smaller format for their rigs. In the front and for the power supply air intake it has removable air filters and also it has featured a dedicated top air intake system that comes with its own air filters. However, you can't remove the top air filter for cleaning unless you want to remove also the fan because it won't stay there without it. Furthermore, it's worth mentioning that there's also a removable radiator or a fan bracket that you can install on the front of this mini case. Inside the case, there's also the mini ITX motherboard tray and has a removable 2.5 inch SSD mounting bracket. Moreover, there's a metal bar that runs from top to bottom that's dedicated for cable management. However, if you have the skill set, you can install a do-it-yourself liquid cooling system as it supports a 160mm tall tube reservoir. There's not much clearance behind the motherboard tray for much cable management. However, there are specific channels for cable management so you can secure excess cables with ease. Definitely the best mini case in the market thanks to its features, performance and premium build. At number 3, it's the NZXT H700i. The NZXT H700i is the bigger of the previously reviewed NZXT H200i. It's the mid-tower and has many similarities to the aforementioned model. 
However, it has some upgrades that make the NZXT H700i unique and the definite best mid-tower case for home builders. It has a great design with LED lighting and a cam control unit and some streamlined features like the ability to hide your components inside the body for a cleaner, more refined look that many people crave for. The NZXT H700i size-wise has a typical mid-tower measurement of 516 by 230 by 494 millimeters and weighs just over 27 pounds. It comes in black or white and some various color accents you can choose from to complement your overall setup. On top of the device, you'll find two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, a headphone and microphone jack as well. And besides the power button, the top and one side and front are very smooth and clean. On the other side, you'll locate the one button release mechanism that wasn't featured on the smaller models. and This essentially gives you instant and easy access to the area behind the motherboard tray. On the sides of the top and front panels are the air intake vents that provide a great way for fresh air to get into the body and that's also the exact place that the company has applied the accent colours, offering you some personalisation and flair. The rear of the case has a standard motherboard I.O. area, an enormous 7 expansion card slots and space for a bottom mounted power supply. It supports 120mm and 140mm fans as well and has a stock 140mm fan from the get-go and you can also move the fan up or down thanks to its slotted screw holes. This lets you fine-tune the airflow or make room for your significant system. It also includes the H-Series Trademark, the smart device feature that combines the functions of the NZXT's Grid Plus and Hue Plus controllers. It controls the lighting, the speed of the fans via the cam interface and has the brand new adaptive noise reduction feature. A great mid-tower case that justifies its price with its overall performance. At number 2, it's the Thermaltake Level 20 GT. The Thermaltake Level 20 GT is a great PC case that, with its looks and performance, will please every gamer, and I personally think it's also the most good-looking case on this list. This high-end case may be a little pricey, but it has amazing features that every gaming PC builder will drool for. The see-through case included fans with RGB lighting, quality construction, great cable management. The Thermaltake Level 20 GT performs as good as it looks. The Thermaltake Level 20 GT is a full tower and it's built with steel, plastic and tempered glass. It's quite large, measuring 580 by 294 by 592 millimeters and weighs about 20 kilograms, which is quite heavy, but it's worth it for the centerpiece of your gaming setup. On the front and the top panel, you'll find tempered glass that's connected to a plastic frame with an air gap running along both its sides. Below both the panels, you'll locate built-in fan filters and mounting holes that can house three fans of 120mm or 140mm or two 200mm fans. Near the front of the top panel, just on the right side of it, you'll see two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports and a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port. And on the left side, you'll see the headphone and microphone jacks, the power and reset button and hard drive activity light. On the back of the case, you'll find eight standard expansion card slots, space for a bottom-mounted PSU and an exhaust fan mounting location that can house both 120mm and 140mm fans. On the bottom of the device, you'll see that there's also a large plastic mesh filter that's also removable, and there are four rubber-coated feet to keep the case elevated about 13mm off the desk or the ground. The fan filtration system on this case is excellent as it does a perfect job, However, it's really difficult cleaning them, and the best way to do it is to remove the whole panel, but that is the only con that this superb case has. And at number one, it's the Fractal Design Define S. I've chosen the Fractal Design Define S as the best PC case for 2019 because of its top value for its price. It's the perfect case for those that usually cut and modify the inside layout of their cases to adapt for their needs. It supports liquid cooling and has amazing cable management system. It'll please those who want the clean look from their PC builds, and with its price, it definitely provides excellent value. This is the best. The Fractal Design Define S is a typical mid-tower measuring 467 by 234 by 534 millimeters, and it weighs a very light 18.2 pounds. The front of the device has a classic and clean panel that acts also as a noise dampener, and right on top of that you'll find two USB 3.0 ports, power and reset buttons, and the headphone and microphone jacks. The Fractal Design Define S features seven expansion slots on the rear, rather than one more for liquid coolers, because it's already suited for internal liquid cooling hardware from the get-go. 
There's also a dust cover to keep all the intake positions covered, in addition to one optional bottom fan mount, three front fan mounts and a power supply inlet. On top of the durable steel, the Fractal Design Define S has lots of cloth-faced asphalt damping sheets on the inside, and there are a good array of vents that combine with the left side window to leave only the right panel with the proper space for these sheets. This is one of the most practical solutions for noise reduction, but it's not the most effective one. On the inside part of the front panel, you can find space for three 120mm fans, and in the middle of the case, you'll find about 18 inches of space for cards, or for a large motherboard of about 10 inches. It can house the standard ATX motherboards with ease, as well as smaller ones, but it can't go any bigger than that. On the front drive cage of the Fractal Design Define S, you'll find tons of screw holes and slots that you can arrange for your liquid cooling devices. This is the definite best case for builders that want value and customization. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.